All right, hello and welcome everybody to the TPM Football Channel. I'm Reina here together with Hofst. We are bringing you the Super League week through week three matchup between Tiki Tackle and Kiek. Yep. Everything is ready. Yeah, we had actually a bit of a delay. Well, not a small delay, actually nearly 20 minutes now. And uh, the teams are ready, so we are going to uh, go over to in-game now. Um, so, no goalkeepers. Yeah? No goalkeepers. Yeah, no, no goalkeepers. Well, Kiak, I think once they have played with a human goalkeeper before, now here, not this time around, Tamai on field, which is a very rare occurrence, actually. Yeah, usually the goalkeeper for kick or kiak. Exactly, and and while kiak is, they've been performing actually rather well in the top division so far. So they have definitely proved themselves. Uh, they have drawn against New Factory already once against Tiki Tackle, even though one game against Tiki Tackle was that one seven loss. Yeah, but they're still waiting for their first win. Yeah, but always oh, Poltres Eder gets past the goalkeeper there. Just below not, just below the goalkeeper a little bit. And not the best start. Poltres, the usual cyborg. Yeah, I mean looking at the looking at the lineups, you know, on paper Kiek has a very strong lineup here, like just those uh Paskid on the wing, Babon, Tamai, Radrof in defense. Maybe Tamai a bit rusty on the field, I haven't really seen him recently. Yeah, they're missing the Portuguese duo. Yeah, that as well, and they're missing a lot of key players. So with Kiek as well, you know, they, they have Totti missing right now. There's a lot of players who've gone inactive, Honor, Splice, and there's there's plenty of more of them. And they've okay. tried to patch the squad a little bit with the emergency transfers as well. They got Lalain, who hasn't really played either. Yes, nice ball. Partially offside. Yeah, and Tiki Tackle with an interesting lineup here, with Palter in attack. I personally completely missed the, missed the window where Palter transferred. I'm not sure when that happened. But... Yeah, that's a few weeks ago, maybe yeah. months. <laughs> months. Yeah, no, it must have been weeks ago. And it's, it feels like yesterday when he was still in the new factory, but... Now he's there, you know, in, in a very strong lineup, which is pretty much fully old Rogue Family, if you look at it. Oh, nice. Nice okay. face. Ooh, face palm. Yeah, tried to get past that tackle, but it just bounced kind of on the side. Inua still here, trying to go for the shot, but has to pass back too many players in the block. Alex. Alex the wall in EX defense. Face palm, tackle in, back to Jacobe. They're holding the ball. Alex dispossessing them once again. He's been doing a lot of work so far for Kiak. Pavon receives the ball, but there's really nobody to pass. The only option there is to cross or wait it out. So he's going for the cross, but it finds no one. Yeah, kind of miscommunication here. Alex tries to find Pavon with the short ball. Doesn't work out. Oh, Alex, good interception. He, he interception there. I won't find anyone either. Face palm there, securing it back to Tiki Tackle. The secret here is stopping Polter. Yeah. It's just, it's just too good at uh, making his runs. Yeah, he's stuck between so many players there. Hasn't been really shining here. Inwa almost makes a foul, but Kiak just has the ball dryly. Back to Tiki Tackle for a second. So many dispossessions, and now Polter offside just by a meter there. Akiak yeah, is risking the the through ball. Polter just waiting for a quick counter. Yeah, they're trying to go for this. They won't have a lot of opportunities extra. There's a good ball. Oh, Polter lops it over towards anywhere as well. He gets to decide what he can do with it now. Back towards face pump. That option Tamai was there, but they still retain the ball. So far, very comfortable for Tiki Taku. Yeah, they're just holding on to that lead right now. It does feel like Kiak, they 
won't have a real opportunity to score in this game. I'm expecting some nice play Ooh. by Alex. Hands with a very dirty tackle. Uh. Doesn't get a card yet. Hands to Jacobe. Face palm. No, Tamai actually latches onto it before face does. Once again, trying these short passes. Pabon is found, but he can't progress. Let the key covering well. They found a bit of space now. Radorf. Here towards the corner flag, but he can't do anything with it. Pabon pushed away. Over to Radorf. Tamai. Face palm. Jacobe. Are they closing themselves really? well so far yeah in around the wing long ball in Polter nearly wins it but Tamai still somehow gets to it, was... it. Ooh, an awkward ball once again Kiek doesn't really know how to deal with these but still Polter hasn't found his luck yet It's just so difficult oh, uh, for Alex between two players playing pinball over there and it's already half time. A bit nervous play there. Not the usual, Alex. Yeah. Maybe feeling yeah, a bit of pressure. With uh, with Kiek, they're just trying to put out that fire right now, but they can't make any make any real sharpness themselves. Yeah. I, uh, I think he is very comfortable in this match. I don't think they felt any danger yet. Yeah, and it's surprising that for Tiki as well, you know, you have some key players missing as well, like uh, Mukian, for example. But well, it's hard to say what, what would it look like if Mukian would replace Polter here. He'd maybe play more towards wing, but... Mm -hmm. yeah, this is closing really well. We can find the, some, any space, go up. Yeah, Alex just does oh, have one. He's allowed to play a little bit, but only in their own half. <laughs> Past this, you can see it's just Tiki Tackles players all over the place. It's an ants army here. Polter, this could be a two-on-two -two attack, but Alex D'Souza gets ahead of him and secures the ball. Once again, they're not going for a lob now, but they will find right off in open space. Hans Krankel sprinting forward. Pabon there on the other side, but it, probably the ball won't reach him. Right off tries, Pabon is blocked. Tamai, oh. oh, blocked again. This is probably the best chance so far. Yeah, it's a good chance now. Polter is being forgotten on the other side, but it could just a little bit too bit. yeah far away from the ball. Inwa puts it too far ahead of him. Polter enables Inwa there, but back to him. Clean tackle yeah. here this time. Well done. Tamai has been surprisingly very much in the game so far and it's had a positive effect on attack, but... Oh, nice just... oh and there it is! Nice, he finds nice. the equalizer! Tamai, who usually is the goalkeeper for them, has historically mostly played goalkeeper as well almost every season, whether it be for Underdogs, New Factory, or now for Kiek. He scores in the most important time. Oh, it's another, another count. It was a really... Hard to find Paskid there. Can he cross it? He's going for a weird shot uh, there. Yes, <laughs> but goalkeeper, but goalkeeper yeah. will not be fooled from this this angle. Very nice goal by Tamai, just risking it. Yeah, and no one, no one to stop his shot. Yeah, the deal is with this possession hold as well. Now these days, is you're gonna lose the energy really fast. But I've experienced myself as well. I need to be fast on the ball's release. Hands actually had a shooting angle there, has to play it back now. In what maybe finds Polter, there was an opening, but no, has to wait it out. Tamai kicks it away and gets to it once again. It's a corner kick. In why is it taking it fast? Yes, he will be. Polter here, face bomb as well. Blocked in the end. Inwa launches another one forward, face bomb. Not so, not so ahead of the defenders. Paskid, good positioning. Tamai picks the good ball. Nice curve. Tiki, Tiki a bit rely, reliant on Walter so far. I mean, Kiak, they definitely want to find these three points. They've already had so many draws and only losses. They've had They've had no wins so far into the season. I'd really want 
to get off on a good foot here. If they get two wins from this series, they will beat Jungle Kings in the table as well, I think. So this, this would be huge for them. But this series holds the same importance for Tiki Tackle as well. They need these uh, six points to get past New Factory. Long ball. This could actually go out of goalkeeper's oh, range. Fun. And the ball is a bit awkward. Nobody gets a shot on Alex. It hits the post and bounces out from goalkeeper's hands. He's been hitting those pretty often now. Yeah, he didn't get to. He didn't get the time to really aim and charge off the shot. But the position was very good for him. Yeah. Radorf. The pass has been punished and Radorf makes a mistake on top of it as well. Face palm is fouled. Tiki tackle with an attack. Very instant shot from Polter. It's been charged down. That's a foul. No, says the referee. Alex closing the door. Solid as usual. You know what? Face palm. Oh, what a great pass it was, but a little bit too long. 80 minutes now. Let's see if someone can grab the win here. Pasquid tries to take on hands. He gets past him. Pasquid, very good dribbler himself. A good shooter as well, but he doesn't find Tamai. I think there was another miscommunication there. Poultry picks it up now. It's on Orado's shoulders to charge him down. Close down the angle, get the ball, and it's just going to slide it into, well, out of the field so far. It's going to be a throw in. It's going to be a long one. They're trying to find Paltrow, maybe face palm here. Both offering themselves. It will be face. Oh, not the best option there. Am I opening up again? Anyone not taking any chances, going for the tackle and actually secures the ball. Beautiful luck there with the rebound. Oh, that's oh, dangerous, Radorf. But oh, Paltrow reads the situation well. Still, goalkeeper intercepts it there. So Kiak is saved by higher forces. Oh, nice jump. Am I doing having a pretty good game so far? Yeah, absolutely. That's what they needed. Alex de Souza. I know he wants to shoot himself as well. Would like to find someone on the wing. Pass kids there, but that's not really a shooting opportunity yet. Needs to pass it back. He was already there to cut the corners. 89 minutes. Probably last, last attack now. Yeah, Kiek just needs to survive this one. Let's get the ball. Played out. Oh, it's already 90 anyways. Tiki Tackle, they're playing for that one last crawl cross. Is this going to be it? No, Tamai somehow gets to it. Jacobe gets and blocked. And it's 1-1. One, one. First game, so Kiak will get a point. Tiki Tackle, they will not surpass New Factory then in the table. Yeah, so Tiki Tackle took too long to... They managed to score a second. And they eventually conceded and just managed to bring the win home yeah they felt in control for most of the game but they couldn't manage to get the win that's match by tamai i think yeah tamai so, definitely I... huge surprise in attack someone who hasn't even played attack so long if he started out he played as a winger now he was pretty much the pretty much the number nine there i mean pasquit was a clear winger yeah and I, I guess they're going with the same lineup. They don't really have any more players to choose from. Maybe Tiki Tackle is making some changes. Um, I don't know. Are they are they going to be playing in the same room? Because yeah. yeah, Tiki Tackle is just changing players probably. Even though they don't have a lot available, maybe Mirazu. Are they waiting for Muk? Is mm. McKeon online? McKeon, yeah, he's missing. They might have to play without him, and his well, his presence could provide a boost for them. Polter's attack. They mostly played for Polter's headers, and uh, these were yeah. all blocked. So they're a bit reliant on Polter. Yeah, and Polter had no location to shoot from distance as well. Yeah, the first goal was Polter header. I think they just. Try to stick with the same strategy, but didn't work out. Alex very good in the, the defense. Maybe. 
I guess we won't see human goalkeepers then either. Which is <laughs> kind of sad, but yeah. From these top teams. Well, first off, they don't really have enough players online even. And second, well, yeah. there's there's nobody here for Tiki, you know. I think Cappy's not online either, so they're not taking nothing here. Yeah. I think if Yak had one more, they probably put Stamai in goal for the second match. Yeah, true. Despite having some issues. We have hands crunkle and face outside. Martish. Or this is an opportunity as well, yeah. Maybe they... Maybe face is lagging? Rejoining constantly? Yeah, it's a possibility as well, because there's been no information posted about that in the chat, so... Maybe they want to change up some stuff. Their only defender, or natural defender, is on spectators. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they do have a lot of um, volatile players, uh, adaptable players as well. In, in where he could play defense midfield. Same likely for Jacobe and Face Palm. Maybe they didn't enjoy the draw. <laughs> now they're <laughs> winning the second match. But yeah, this draw puts Tiki Tackle onto 13 points, so the most they can get from this round will be um, 15 which leaves them too short of no factory. They'll also have... Yeah, he's lagging. ...worse goal difference. This is a problem then. Unlucky by faith. Yeah, John... Yeah, they'd have a real chance here, considering the difficult situation of Jungle Kings as well. Got to wonder how's this going to play out, you know, since next round. They actually, during this round even, I think, they have to play Jungle Kings as well, no? Oh, uh, let me check. So, yeah. Jungle Kings, yes, they, yes, they, yes, they definitely point. need a few transfers. I mean, they only have about four active players left now. Yeah, they, they transferred Milzo, I think. But only in game. I didn't sign him up yet. We'll yeah, see. they had one positive game against New Factory, but after that, I think they they did get two wins. One of them was against New Factory, and the other one was against uh, Kiak. I guess both were actually very close games against Kiak. Oh, face palm back back. <laughs> now he's up again. Well, they don't really have any options there. Yeah, Big Martin is joining. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm gonna check as well. Oh, it's Elato Sarai is playing. They've come together again. Maybe we're gonna see them in the next season. Hopefully. Yeah. Maybe a Kiak and a Galatasaray derby. Yeah, there is actually Pedri, Pedri Martis Marazzo online as well from Tiki Tackle side. There's also Chocolate. So they have a lot of players to choose from here. Uh, they obviously want to go with the best lineup possible <laughs> as well, so there's a there's a big risk to be taken and they will send chocolate on the pitch. Oh, they're taking out the the veterans. Yeah. Only Jake remains. <laughs> chocolate has been playing here and there for past seasons. He was more of a sub player for Victoria. Now He's been, uh, not well, since he set his foot in Tiki Tackle, he's been playing more regularly. It's nice to see him return as well. And it oh, will Martis. be Martis as well, also a former Victoria <laughs> player. Oh, he's actually being subbed out. No, both of them are. They're trolling us. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Maybe they are, yeah. 
I want to see if Alex's um, patience runs dry. Looks like they will rejoin. I wonder if Inua is not playing then. This it does open yeah. it does open doors to a very experimental lineup here. They're struggling. The problem is Mirazu these days. He hasn't played defense either, and so right now they got Polter Mirazu, who both they're, they're, are very offensive players. They probably put Martis and Jake. On yeah, defense. Martis, Jake, defense, chocolate on uh, on mid then. Oh, this, is, yeah. this is going to be really awkward. <laughs> well, yeah, that's probable lineup. Yeah, we have people saying that we want to see human goalkeepers. <laughs> About not taking too kindly into them. Even yeah, even but, even though they have two very good human goalkeepers in their in their team in the in the face of Lala and Cap uh, not Capi but uh, Tamai. True. Yeah, so it's Martis and Jake defense, Kaku Tamaraz wingers. Yeah. Okay. Kind of unexpected. I'm curious to see what they can do here. Yeah, that's probably how it will stay then. Kiak with the same lineup then. Tamai, Paskit, Radov, Pavan, Alex de Souza. Tamai, I guess, uh, still in attack. And see what they can do. we are off. Yeah, checks out. Manas on left. Chocolate on the right. Bond back to Radov, Radov long ball to Alex. Try to play out of defense once again. Just taking it slow, back to Radov. Yeah. Radov progressing actually, he's allowed quite a bit of space. Jacobi comes to probe him. Alex with a, I think that was a misclick. Ultra applying good pressure actually, but Radov has uh, set up a nice bit of space on the left side there. Oh, Paskit gets past Mardis. Nobody really to cross to. Has to pass it short. Keep it simple. Nice attack here. Right up. Oh, no, no, no. Alter to cut away. Didn't go for a dribble. Saw the four players in front of him. Shekabe. Mardis. Chocolate is trying to open up. Trying to get uh, Tamai's attention. Right. It was on the wing. Actually, they're playing very fluid. You can see Tamai dropping back a lot. It seems like Pavan is like the attacker now. He's... Uh, Setting himself up very high on Tiki Tackle's path. There's Tamai on the wing against Chocolate. Doesn't really do anything. Marazu's there, and that's all that's needed. That one cross, that kind, uh, that kind of started. The, yeah, it kind of started yeah. the first game as well, right? The quick cross, a little yeah. header in. No defender really present to cut it away. Just right mouse, and the enters of the box, lethal. Tamai has been really close down as well. It's been tough for him. Let's see how kick react this time. Oh, Pavan with a very missed slide there. Tamai in return yeah, slides play. straight into him. Yeah, there's definitely some nervousness showing from Kiak. This time headed away by Radov. Good job from him. Maras is definitely not an easy opponent in air. Tiki once again in control. Chocolate trying to create space. Finds Mirazu. Ooh, the volley just flies a bit wide from that right post, but was a was a real scare once again for Kiak. Yeah. Chocolate just trusts trust his, uh, his yeah. teammate. <laughs> Chocolate is doing a good job. I mean, Tamai hasn't really been found so far, and they can't really use him here, Kiek. Paskit now. They know they don't need to push him too much, just force him into that cross, which goes wide above everybody. And that's another attack of Tiki Tackle coming up then. Yeah. Mraz just eating up Paskit on his wing. <laughs> yeah. It's offside, I think. Yeah. There it is, yep. 
Character Soza, Paskid. I haven't seen a lot of Paskid either. Not like the Special Forces Paskid from last oh, season. No. Oh, there it was. Good opportunity. Alex Souza avoids the tackle. Nobody to pass to. Poulter blocks it. He's really good in the offensive pressure. Even if he doesn't secure the ball, he still runs up and just stands there, mocking the defenders. De Souza turns. Terrible. Yes, yeah, squeezes that foul up, but Poulter not really in danger right now. Can take these tactical fouls, win these minutes. No. Secret, secret is the foul like picking up the ball and doing those small dribbles. Yeah, the long balls, they're not working out. You can see he tackle, they're ready to let them through. Nice one. Restart their game. Paski nearly wins it. Jacobe on his back, though. Radov, Alex de Souza. Paskid tries to get through three players, isn't effective with it. And Mirazo picks it up. Get fling it in, right off clean tackle. Pavo nicely lets it out of play for a goal kick. Yeah, I think Alex will play more on the left side. He needs to cover Mirazo. But Marty's lapse of concentration there, but. Still oh. regains the ball. Nothing crazy happened. Irazu pushes forward again. Poulter is on the edge nice. of the box, though, so wonder. Well, they're definitely going to make a throw now, but Poulter didn't uh -huh. understand the sentiment there. Did they stop Pascal with Pavan now? Pavan is on the wing. It's a bit confusing. Yeah, now Pascal is sent straight up. I would say just put Tamai in center. And then put Babon and Paskid wings like it was in the first game, but here I think, uh, they felt Paskid wasn't covering well enough. They put Shabo on there. Shabo yeah. Babon. Chocolate has been doing a good job against Tamai. He hasn't got a room to breathe really. To Tamai now, good tackle. Chocolate is still there. Good crossing, but just a little bit of a floater, Polter, not finding a way to hit it. There's an opening. Chocolate now, dribbling. Alex I, clears I, it off the line. Oh, nice Pol is getting rid of, well, nearly two players, but Pabon stands his ground. Rather, sends a flyer, bad touch from Paskid. 45. Yep, yeah, this should be half time now. You're playing around the midfield area, anyways, and there it is. Ticket yeah, tackle. Is, yeah. They did a red shot. They put Pabon. Stop Mirazu, which was just running circles around Paskid. Maybe let's see if we can fix it again. Get that goal. Yeah, we can see if these last last chance fixes are, are good enough now. Still that minimal lead for ticket tackle though. One 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 is still an opportunity. It's it's been quite a closed game, even even though ticket tackle has had their chances. A mistake by Pavan here. Yeah, that allows Mirazo to play freely. Polter changes position. Here he is. Finds Mirazo. Mirazo shooting. And that evades Alex de Souza as well. That's 2-0. And that's probably the game done as well. Kiek just not finding anything against Mirazo here. Against Polter. Deadly right mouse. Aaron Beagle. Up on. Cascade was opening up for a second there. But still... Nothing to be found. Jamai. Twisting and turning. Not getting rid of Marty so easily. Good switch of players there. Rado sends it in. Pab on hold. The goalkeeper's there. Pushes it away. Clean tackle from Chocolate as well to top it off. Pabon has to take the chance here. Tamai in the race with Chocolate. Loses it. Radov just getting reckless now. That was a clean tackle, actually. Paskid, that's his opportunity, always is. And he takes these shots and he scores these as well. That's one back for Kiek. Poltor Jr. He gets yeah. the same thing first. <laughs> that's true. I don't remember, actually. I think they joined roughly at the same time. Poltor even later, I think. Since he didn't join together with the original Special Forces yeah. players. Marazu. Oh, good tackle here from Radov. He's, he's been having a decent game so far. Definitely in an um, unusual environment as well, coming from not a crew, you know. 
but uh, yeah. he's having some former teammates back him up, like Totti there, so. And Pabon, who was also in another crew a couple of seasons, so. Let's see if they can risk a bit more, get that draw. Yeah, they're feeling themselves a little bit now. These passes are going through. They're confusing Tiki Tackle a bit, but still the uh, finishing touch is missing. They can't Tiki get... Feeling the pressure after conceding that goal. Yeah, they don't give away the shooting positions, and it's just so good from them. Radorf, he has no opportunity here. Gets it to Tamai somehow. Tamai is so stuck. They don't want to lose the energy as well. Need to release the ball. It goes over Chocolate. Paskid comes to receive it. It's such a nervous game, and Chocolate gives the body, gets the ball back, and finally Tiki Tackle. They can... The pressure. And that's a bad one. But ball again. Oh, Tama is there. It needs to be. Oh, like... and that's offside. How unfortunate there for Kiak. Nice vision. And ball again for Kiak. There's actually plenty of time to play. 20 minutes in game. There's still opportunities here for Kiak if they continue this game. If they continue their calm. Pabon, was he offside? I couldn't tell. And he was, uh, after all. Alex is finding them. He just needs one. Mirazu, it. Long ball in. Tamai picks it up. Paskid. Can't get rid of Morris. Tamai is opened up. But once again, offside. Ticket tackle. They know how to bring that line down. Chocolate. Floating ball in. Too short to reach Poulter. 2v3. Another try. This time it should not be offside. Tamai needs to score from there. If he can't, it's uh, not doable at all and it gets blocked. Let's try. Oh, and it's a foul, but it's still an attack of Tiki Tackle. That could be a 2 1 1 here if Radov gets too much out of position. And it's getting worse here. Mirazo, he only needs one chance, and there it is. 3 1 here. And Mirazo, he's been a very good, very good sub here into the second game. Uh, hat trick. I yeah, think. good choice to put him into the game and Paskid was close, but not close enough here. Gets dispossessed. Radov makes it to the ball first. But Kiek, they have bigger problems now to patch. Yeah, so it's uh, really unlucky for Kiek. They had like a ton of chances. If one of those wasn't an offside, it will be a very different game. But yeah, Kiek, that's that's only true. Hard. Yeah, but Everything there was bad, and the back pass is very questionable there from Mirazo and Jacoba as well. It was going forward a little bit. So, maybe some sort of uh, uncertainty showing from Tiki Tackle side as well. They are humans, after all. Paskid, not really shooting opportunity yet. Tries his luck still, but the ball gets clobbered between the players. Paskid opens up. Habon doesn't reach it. Jacoba, what a move there. Vito. The confidence to make that happen. And Polter over to Mirazu. Mirazu doesn't find a line of sight. Ball is taken away. Amai. Good tackle from Jacobe. That's a one on one now. Radov against Polter. How does he handle it? And Radov gets the ball. Polter blocks the pass, but it's possession for Kiak. You know, a bit of a chaotic game now. Yeah, I think it's both teams just want to get over with it. Trying their best to make something fancy happen here. Pabon. Uh, goalkeeper's ball didn't hit him. Yeah, I think Maraz is just too much today for... Yeah. And Pabon is offside there. Has to be Tamai who reaches it. No, it goes actually back to Pabon with a, with a long curve. But... In the and end, it will be last chance for Tiki Tackler. Alex de Souza though picks it up. Now it's overtime, anyways. It's all over. Three to one, likely if Alex de Souza doesn't lose the ball here, and that will be the case. So Tiki Tackle, they get four points, while Kia get one from the series. It was a bit expected. Goes exactly like it did in the last time. So well, they're still looking for that win. Yeah, Kia, they have to prove themselves in the repeat fixtures against Jungle Kings now. I think 3-1 is just a bit of an unfair result for this match. Yeah. I think maybe the draw will be a better result for Kiek, but in the end, just Miraz 
taking every one of his chances. Yeah, but great squad depth from Tiki Tackle as well. You know, you put in just two, well, not new players, but just uh, fresh, fresh, fresh subs, and everything works out perfectly. Yeah, Maras did what the other, the other guys couldn't. Of Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Uh, thank you for joining me, Hoss. Hope we'll no have uh, more streams soon if people uh, manage to. <laughs> Schedule their That's games good. ahead of time, yeah. Uh, that yeah, is from us, and thank you, and good night.